Hello and welcome to ITNs. Right. So we um, we have we have seen about how we can provision uh, Ubuntu based virtual machine, right? But I mean we are discussing about Azure and we are discussing about uh, Microsoft. Right? Let's discuss in this session about how we can provision a Windows based virtual machine in Azure. Okay. So that's what we are going to do on this session, and then we are going to see what are the various things that we can configure to get our virtual machine up and running and at the end of the session we're going to also look at uh, connecting the virtual machine uh, using RDP all right great I'll see you in the session then thank you Welcome back to ITNs. So, in this session, we are going to look at how we can provision a Windows virtual machine, and then we will try to connect that virtual machine um, using RDP, right, uh, from uh, from my laptop. Right? So, for creating a virtual machine, what I will do is I'll create, click on create a resource. Okay, and I can use the first one that is Windows Server so 2016 Data Center. I'll just give a couple of moments uh, before I get the option to configure the things. All right, great. So here we are. Uh, this is the first page, and my subscription is now pay as you go subscription. And the resource group is uh, Pro IT RG1, right? And we now we need to give uh, the name of the server. So let's give it as Web Server 03. Okay and we will keep the server in the east us region so no changes required out there availability options i'll select as availability zone okay and then um, i'll leave it as default uh, i'll not make any changes out here um, i'll select uh, three okay and i leave it as it is and i leave this virtual machine as it is all right and now i have to give a name this is going to be the admin account which I'll use to connect my virtual machine on and then I'm going to give the password okay uh, so uh, public ports uh, allow selected public port and I leave it with RDP all right then I click on um, no changes required here yeah uh, I click on next disks yeah so out here we have the options like standard HDD uh, standard SSD and premium SSD right so uh, for now what we'll do is uh, we'll leave as it is um, encryption we'll leave it as uh, we've seen this right I mean uh, there are two sets of encryption now I mean one is the customer uh, managed and key that is CSE and the another one is uh, uh, Azure managed key that is SSE right so for now uh, I'll leave it as default that is your SSE right um, so here uh, enable ultra disk compatibility I'll put it as low I'll leave it default and then data disk um, I'm not going to create anything now we'll do it a bit later okay advanced let's have a look what is there in advanced use managed disks as of now no um, we are going to configure all those things later okay and then I click on next there is networking okay so I give this uh, I mean uh, let's uh, this one is all default right we are going to use the same uh, vnet and the same subnet which we had already configured right okay uh, as of now we are allowing only port 3389 that is the RDP port for connecting a Windows machine over uh, the RDP protocol okay um, rest of the things I leave it as default management I leave it as default alright and then I click on next 
advanced advanced also I'll leave it as default no changes required out here tags so tags I'm going to put as name and I'm going to put as uh, web server 03 okay and I'll use one more tag uh, because I'm going to use it uh, for my project work so I'll select another tag as project work and then I click on review plus create so it will take a moment and then it will provide me a summary of the things that we have selected all right let's quickly review this and see if we require any further changes if required we can go on uh, click on previous and go back and make the required changes but for now uh, all looks good so I am good to click click on create so it will take a moment uh, uh, for the Windows machine to be deployed okay so as you can see deployment is in progress and it has created the IPs and the NHGs required for the uh, Windows server and we all know right what is the NHGs right I mean that is your like your firewall for the uh, for, for uh, that will be on that virtual machine okay so uh, we have seen this uh, we have discussed about NHG in one of the previous sessions when we were configuring Ubuntu server for web um, so that's where we actually had a look on what is energy alright so uh, it will take about a moment uh, to complete the configuration till then I'll go ahead and pause this video okay great so our deployment is complete as you can see the deployment is complete right so I can click on go to resource okay and we have this uh, resource uh, windows server up and running right so uh, let's quickly have a look all the various options with that we are getting so yeah um, so it's actually configured in pro it rg1 status is running location east us uh, east us right and that's a subscription id operating system windows and uh, the size of the virtual machine is uh, b1s that's a public ip vnet and subnet and it's in availability zone 3 great and then um, those are the other uh, details about uh, the virtual machine okay uh, okay about the disks about uh, the, the ram and all and then we click on monitoring we have a uh, small information not much uh, because the virtual machine is now newly created right okay great so let's go back to the properties and let's copy this public IP address okay now I'll c connect to this virtual machine by using this public IP address okay so this is the public IP which is um, configured on our Windows Server so and that's what I've configured here so I click on connect and now it's trying to establish an RDP session on port 3389 so I get the option to provide my password so I'll uh, provide my password which I had configured uh, while creating the virtual machine I click on remember me here and then click on ok yeah since uh, I'm logging for the first time so uh, it gives me small warning but this is fine um, I can click on don't ask me again for connection to this computer and I click on yes okay so now it's um, getting connected okay so my virtual machine is almost uh, connected uh, we'll give a, a moment so my virtual machine is connected and I'm getting the server manage, uh, manager dashboard well it's all um, preparing the dashboard but yeah um, so we have seen that our virtual machine is now uh, connected and it's uh, up and running all right um, well uh, don't worry about those uh, errors and warnings as of now because uh, we have uh, used the lower uh, configuration of hardware that is CPU and RAM uh, so it will take some time to start up the services all right great um, that's all folks for this session and uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this session 
all right um, please do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get uh, notified on uh, as soon as the new videos are updated right great until next time keep watching and keep learning thank you